Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Ray Tone. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys a um, couple of ways to basically fix the RPC S3 emulator from freezing so much. But before we get started this video, please make sure you guys leave a like, share, also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's get it. All right, first things first, probably the most uh, important step in this video is Make sure you guys have the most up-to-date PC. What I mean by that, have the latest graphics card. Um, basically getting the most high-end thing for your PCs. Like you get like an i7 with the latest Nvidia graphics card, the best and latest AMD um, chips for your PC, have a really good GPU, CPU. All those things do play to the matter when it comes to emulation, especially like an emulator like RPC S3, due to the fact that the stronger your PC is, the better the better performance you basically get. That's plain and simple and easy with that. So like, if you guys experience um, freezing with games that are really, really, really graphical demanding, and that takes a lot out of your um, CPU and GPU, like games like The Last of Us, Metal Gear Solid, those games need uh, specific settings to be able to run. Um, to be honest with you, those games need certain settings to be even go in game. Because like, if you just try to boot up the last of us right now, most likely you're gonna be experiencing a lot of glitches and a lot of freezing and a lot of crashing. You need to have certain builds of the RPC S3 emulator and also you need to have in a certain setting. So those games are very demanding. So. Do keep in mind when you guys try to play games like that, they're really demanding. Um, the second step is always um, updating your NVIDIA graphics card and your AMD um, chips. So I try to do this at least as much as I can. Always look for the latest drivers. I always type in the graphics card I have. And basically the search and see what type of builds they have and I always download it and install it into my computer no matter what. That's very important. And then after I do that, I always tend to go to the control panel to see any new things I can adjust with with the games and emulators I'm playing. If everything the same, I leave everything the same, but I always go to my very control panel to mess around the settings when it comes to emulation and stuff like that. So yeah, always update your drivers from AMD into NVIDIA, it's very important. At least try to check each month if there's a new um, driver update for your specific um, drivers. So those things are really important. And also the configuration settings. When you're playing certain games, <laughs> this is going to be your best friend. The CPU, the GPU, um, the advanced tab, and that's pretty much it. These three tabs, the CPU, GPU, and the Vance tab are very important. The Vance tab comes really important with games like I mentioned earlier with The Last of Us, Metal Gear Solid, the Infamous series, especially Infamous um, 2, the God of War series, like any first party PlayStation 3 game or PlayStation game in, that's, that came towards the end of the PS3 lifespan, those games are really demanding. Cause you know, through the years, Sony gets better with um, their graphics and their gameplay. So of course, you're gonna take more out of your system. That's how it usually works with um, video game consoles in general. It's nothing new. So by default, you guys should have stuff like um, PPU decoders, CPU decoder, all of it to LLVM recompiler. So if you guys don't have that, make sure you got that. These are for basically uh, games in general. These are like basically the best things for games in general. Um, loop detection, you can leave that on. CPU cache, leave that on. TXM instructions, by default, it won't be on. You have to do um, something a little special to activate, but this is, I believe it's for um, lag and crashing. So you're experiencing a lot of lag and crashing. Um, my best recommendation is to try to enable this. Also in the GPU settings, Vulkan, it's always better in OpenGL when it comes to the RPC S3 emulator, especially with PlayStation in general. Always use your graphics card. Um, 
if you're trying to um, leave games in 30 FPS and not try to go past 60 FPS, if you, for some reason, experiencing a lot of crashing, when you go to 60 FPS yet, um, when you try to go up to 60 FPS, you can always enable VSync because that you usually try to like lock games um, at 30 FPS. Um, FSR upscaling, this is a new feature that they just added. I'm not too familiar with it. I have to mess around with it a little bit to see how much it truly works to improve your resolution. But I don't know, I highly doubt it's really, I, I believe it's really crashy. Whenever it's something new implement emulation, it's always buggy and crashy. That's that's just through my experience. Um, frame limit, you can leave it to auto or whatever um, FPS you feel comfortable your system can run. Um, as for flicker, I usually move it at 2x sometimes. And this, I'll just leave it at auto and aspect ratio, I'll leave it by 16 by nine. So those are the basically the basic settings I use. In the advanced tab, I only use this to be honest with you when I'm messing with games like The Last of Us and Metal Gear Solid. I really don't need, and God of War, I really don't use this this much unless the game is really demanding. And if you guys are kind of unsure on how which settings games are supposed to be and you're experiencing a lot of freezing and crashing, my best, your best um, thing to do is basically go to the RPC S3 um, website, go to compatibility and type in the game you want. And usually most of the time they have a GitHub with um, certain settings what the game's supposed to be. But the thing with this, uh, the, the tab is not that good. The last of us because when i type in the game is most likely it's not gonna pop up oh it pop up this time so all right so when you go into when you type in the game they say for example the last of us they usually tell you what settings is really good with it Let me click on it real quick oh this is the wiki page let me tell you it's the wiki page Alright. Alright. So this is the GitHub when when you find issues with the games. I believe. So this is mostly with the issues you, you have with certain games. And then right here they really, they really they are really specific in this tab they tell you um what settings they use their games on and what's the best settings they usually use on certain games so let's say example using the american version of the last of us most likely this is going to be your code and then this is the github they usually share what problems they're having and what they're using to get the which um type of processing power on their PC they use to get the best performance. And mostly here you can um, hear about what they use about complaints and stuff like that, really technical stuff. But most of the time they usually give um, their settings they're using that give them the best performance or certain settings that don't work to make you guys keep a heads up. And then you give out certain builds of the RPC S3 emulator, like the whip builds, like, basic emulation builds that are really game specific towards that. So yeah, that's basically about it. Those are, I'll say I show you case you guys like four ways on basically to stop or limit the RPC S3 emulator from freezing so much. Now do keep in mind if the game is continued freezing and crashing and it's like not at a full playable state like the last was, it's only at in game. So you can't play it really from beginning to end without having certain builds or certain settings. That's 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 something you guys need to keep on uh, heads up for. So do keep on with that. The only way these games can be fully playable is with the RPC S3 emulator team improving um, their emulator to make it fully playable. So yeah, do keep in mind with that. So that's basically about it. If you guys enjoyed this video, find this video any helpful at all. Feel free to like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And yeah, guys, this is your boy Brady. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.